know that you always had a love for aviation ever since you were a kid. So That's I right. have to know yeah. what exactly were you thinking, what happened when you got that call from John Lasseter? You mean when I got off the floor and the, and the blood went back into my head and, I, and I, I woke up out of that fog? Yeah, it was, you know, Kylie, it was a dream come true for me. It really was. I, it felt amazing. That is amazing, and I, I mean, when do you ever get an opportunity like this? Because you love planes so much, and now you have this whole movie dedicated to planes. Right. Did you have high expectations for yourself? I did, I did. I had a lot of high expectations for myself. You know, living in the world of animation, living and breathing it, and loving it, and then also the love of animation, and having both of those things come together. I mean, it truly was a dream come true. I was in, I was in my, you know, I don't know, in my moment of like really getting to do something that I'd wanted to do my whole life. So, and then to have John Lasseter as my mentor, you know, and just a, a, an inspiring creative lead with me along the way, it was, it was amazing. That is, I'm, I'm a little jealous of you, yeah. of this amazing accomplishment that you just I know. had. Um, <laughs> I'm just in awe of you right now because I loved the movie. I thought it was really awesome. Uh, we've been anticipating this movie for so long because we love cars. Right. Um, and I really liked the movie. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What exactly did you have to do to explore the world of planes in order to bring the authenticity that you wanted for your characters? Yeah, well, you know, John is so good about just pushing that research, research, and maybe just a little bit more research. So, man, I mean, we really went out there. We pounded the pavement, talked the talk, walked the walk with all the folks, met probably 35, 40 different pilots. You know, we, we, tra we uh, traveled the world, started off in the Midwest where the movie starts, went to uh, JFK and, uh, you know, New York, on into uh, Germany and England, and we spent a few days at, in, the, uh, in India with the Taj Mahal. I got to see the sunrise and the sunset with the Taj Mahal. And then really one of the cappers to all that research was able to go out on the USS Carl Vinson, which is a aircraft carrier, nuclear powered That's aircraft carrier. That's what I thought carrier. was cool. Yeah, out of San Diego, which was unbelievable. You know, we got to land by the arresting wire. We got out of that aircraft and sat there and with the men and women of that for two days and saw the jets, the F-18s taken off, just like right out of Top Gun. You're really trying to make me jealous right now. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to the Air and Space Museum in San Diego? I have not. Did you know that there is one? I did. I couldn't get to all of them, but I've been told I need to get to that and the Midway. I've so, been to that museum many, many times because my dad is actually um, a fan of planes. And so he oh. used to take me there every year, mainly because he wanted to go. Are you going to take cool. your dad to the movie? I'm, you well, I didn't for the screening, but yeah, I will go back okay, because good. I'll say that you told me you should. take him. You should. <laughs> a big key theme in this film is yeah. being more than what you're built for. That's right. And I was wondering, on your path to pursuing a career as a director, That's right. what is the greatest obstacle that you have had to overcome? Uh, you know, I think it's in the movie there. I think it's about fear. Um, I think you could probably relate to this. I know I can as far as just sometimes fear can hold you back. And you might be given an opportunity and not so sure you should take it, but if you could step out of that comfort zone for just a moment, you might really be surprised with the results, and that's kind of what happened. You know, I was fearful when this project came up, all the expectations that go with it, but I'm like, I have to go for it. I gotta see what happens. You know, so it's that kind of thing. Is there anything that you found really helped you, maybe some type of tip, some type of strategy that you used in order to really push yourself past that fear? Um, you know, I guess uh, deep down inside, I sort of had a confidence about myself coming, you know, I, I've been involved with several other different projects and, and I, I knew, I felt deep down that I could do it, but I, I was still sort of fearful. So I guess I fell back on just my past experience, but I was still nervous. Made in Hollywood.